that um, natural order kind of deck. The only card I'm really interested in here is um, Smuggle Sculptor. Other than that, yeah, it's all trash. Hmm. I like Azilus Conscripts. This can be really fun to sort of sneak in your um your Kiki Jiki and just sort of go off from there. So I like that. I guess we're heading into red again. Nothing overly impressive here. I mean like high tide, maybe. Maybe. Preodance is probably the best card. Had I taken the um 3-3, maybe I'd just take Lunok Aspirant. And then there's this, um, and I like this Ashiok a lot. Could take Gifts if I'm sort of going the combo route and trying to combo, combo out some weird reanimation business again. Oh, I have interested in Diabolic Sevichid. Well, there's just a theme Skydiver. Which is just a good cheap card. I'm gonna say get gifts will will if it needs. If, I, if I'm meant to be in that deck, it'll come back. So, oh, do I do it here? One point uh, sneak attack. I will love to play show and tell. I think I do take a risk on this. Not saying I'm playing it. Like, this deck is generally bad because I just put something even bigger into play, but... Seems like it could be fun. Alright, so there's nothing to put into play here. Um, there is, however, a Draugr Tree Speaker. And this could be a thing where I um, change track and just end up in green. I guess Terastodon's pretty good to sneak in, but then you just give them a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I think I'd rather take the Draugr's Tree Speaker. We might end up it being a green, red ramp deck where we can sort of sneak in Crater Hoof and things like that. It's a pretty light Tree Speaker. We can also splash Show and Tell. It's a very splashable card. Creature, Artifact, Enchantment, or Land. Basically Eureka, right? Alright, well, there's a crag. I don't mind crag. I'm really interested in anything else here. Alright, that's fair enough. Lots of green, lots of red, so it's a good signs. Good signs. Anyone, are we drafting with anyone significant? No one I recognize. So we've got some interesting pieces here. Oh, a Kiki Jiki would be fun to open. Any old drives would be fun to open. We'd be very happy to pick, open like an old, um, an Emrakul. And then if I could pick up a channel, then the deck would be in full swing. Oh, a lightning bolt. I kind of like that. Um, there is a shallow grave here, however. Um, I think if I'm meant to play a shallow grave, it will come back. And I should probably just take the lightning bolt here. Man, mono red is so open. Uh, if Eidolon comes back, I know I'm meant to be in mono red. If um, shallow grave comes back, we're meant to be doing the shallow grave thing. So that'll answer itself. Bristle brand. I've got sneak attack. I've got show and tell. There's also a massive worm. Jeez, and then there's the mono red cards. Oh man, look, there's a crystal brand here. This is a good thing to show and tell. Good thing to um, sneak in. Spine worm is not a good a sneak target. Not as good a sneak target. But I guess you can go with them. Alright, well here I am going to, I mean, we can put this in enchantment into play, but I think I am going to just go Progenitus here. 
Right, there's a harmonize. Also a desperate ritual, so I think I don't play that. But I think I did take the harmonize. We really want to get our combo together. Green White Land, not really good. I don't mind a um gift sun given. That could be nice. Yeah, maybe. So at the moment I'm in a weird teamer sneak deck with a bit of show and tell action. Probably worse places to be. Hmm. Phil's Comscript probably isn't making any in at the moment. I like the idea of playing show and tell. And then having a Zillus conscripts in play, and you just take whatever they take. So if they try and play something broken, like an Eldrazi, you just take it and swing. It's sort of quite winny the game, though. Maybe for that one, a bit lower health. Okay, um, if we do get the Adrazi plan, Makeshift Mannequin can come in handy. I think it's going to be more important than the Kira Pianola, so, you know, I might play Makeshift Mannequin. But will the Shallow Grave wheel? That's what I want to know. Um, I trust on actually could be good. It did not wheel. Mm. Oh, it did. Okay, that's really good. Wow, okay, so I've got some bigger direction here. And I'm looking at these blue cards like I'm not really interested. And then I'm looking at this natural order like, yes, sign me up. So there are some really good fetches here. Oracle's great, but natural order, we've got a Progenitus and a Terastodon. We've already got two targets for it. And we do want to pick up some mana elves. That's a fact, but we'll get there. That'll help hopefully fix our mana. Um... Unfortunately, that we're the like primal card type is great sneak attack. Um, Ugin can go with the channel, go with the channel that we're going to pick up. But yeah, we'll take our natural order here. And there's a Kiki Jiki. Um, do I take the Kiki Jiki? We've got conscripts. Sneak it in. We're passing up on a little more visionary. Visionary is good, but it's not like one of the elves I really want. I want a one or two green mana elf. Not really at three. Um, passing up on a whole bunch of random stuff. All right, so I kind of want to be in red. I don't hate black here. Like I wouldn't mind having some kind of reanimation spell or after I sneak something. Okay. Turn three, show and tell, turn four. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. Right, so a few good cards here. There's a Bell Ringer, which also goes with the Kiki. But does that put us into like our fifth color? But what else is there for us, really? I mean, we can take a blue, black, a green, black land. Um, There is a green monolith, but monolith doesn't seem this good in our deck. Like, it seems okay, I guess. Let's see. Monolith, I'll probably take. I'd probably rather have fixing, right? Monolith is probably good enough. Hmm. Could just be fixing here, because I kind of want the green card, the green monodox to be my ramp. I don't just want this random artifact. It helps us play our spells. I'm going to take the fixing. That might be a bit strange, but... Right, so there's a Seething Song. I really like Seething Song here. Um, Seether is good. Goes with Kiki. But we really need to be able to, like... like Seething, Seething Song allows Sneak Attack and Kiki Jiki on turn 3. I think that's good enough. Um, over Animate Dead, which I feel like we're on the Shallow Grave plan, not the... Animate dead plan. Oh, I love oh tiger, but the bolt tutor. I feel like tutor is very important here. Um, sorry, demonic tutor is very important here. I would love a tiger, but I cannot give up my tutor here. 
Uh, Dragon Lord Attack on Light Wheel, which would be very nice. There's what we want. That's exactly the card we wanted. This um, fixes our mana and allows us to go off with our natural order. Perfect. Easy pick up. There's another Mana Elf. Um, passing up on, not really interested in Dark Petition or Duretti. I think Duretti is so overrated. Sure. Um, I don't really have any way to put things in with this Shellgrave at the moment. Whoa, okay, so Imperial Recruiter. Cannot get Kiki Jiki. So Nargos can help us go big. There's also a Tooth and Nail. Oh, that's tough. That is tough. I think I do take the Tooth and Nail here, though. If you just get to seven, you can drop the things that get stuck in your hand. And with um, Kiki Jiki and Conscripts, it is an instant win, so... Yeah, we'll take the Tooth and Nail here. Alright, so we're looking for lots of ramp now. Um, whoa, that's lots of ramp. Yeah, man. That's exactly what we need. Um, sure, that's coming in. Sorry, uh, Windswept Teeth. This Gristle Brand is looking a bit out of place. I guess it's a good sneak target, but... And a show and tell target, okay. But maybe we just cut the Shallow Grave until we have a way that we know we can bring it back. The makeshift mannequin looks even worse. Yeah, we're not playing makeshift mannequin. We're not doing that. Sure. Yeah. Well, wow, prime time came all the way around. Such a good sign. And yeah, green was very open. We saw the late Gerald tree speaker, so very glad we're in green. We've got three targets. Oh, okay. Oh, Imperial Seal. I really like Imperial Seal. I really like um, Lanawa Visionary. I think I do take the Imperial Seal. It's like the play more black though. Let's just play it. It's it's tough. I've got a demonic shooter. That's close. I just like I don't want to play too many black cards. Mm hmm. I guess I'll take a nature's claim for the side. So at the moment, um. We've got two lands. Unfortunately, we missed out on a tiger, which is hurting my soul, but we took something nuts over it, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's perfect. I fixed it on mana. That makes me really happy. I love having good mana. Um, not nothing that we don't play Excavator. We didn't wield a good card from that. Unfortunately. Mm, duplicate or dragon. I kind of like duplicate as a way to kill something with sneak attack. Oh, it's not nothing we don't play the duck petition as well. Right, well, there's an on cover mox, so I'm going to take it over Sylvan Library and uh, Signet and all that rubbish. Wouldn't mind an action too, but yeah, this helps us play Kiki Jiki, sneak attack, everything earlier, so that's perfect for us. Not even a question. Don't like anything down there. There is a shelter pile, which is be kind of hard to play, but there's not much else here, to be honest. Ashiok seems okay. Could I play an Ashiok and splash it? I think I'd rather splash a shelter pile with all my broken cards. I mean, it makes my mana worse, though. That is a big deal. Nah, I'll be fine. I'll play it. Like, I, I mainly want to be John just splashing for a show and tell. And I am at the point where I would play Eureka. I guess I'm just some um, really growl splashing one black and one blue card at the moment. Fast Bond. Makes for fast starts. Is it better than Bloodstone Mire? I think it might be here. Um, Caracas in the pack. So for me, this is between Fastborn and Bloodstained Mine. I feel like Fastborn's a more powerful card. Draw sevens, I would take here now. Like, I love a Wheel of Fortune. Like, Fastborn isn't great now, deck, but sometimes you just want to ramp to your stuff. 
is this. Um, so I guess I'll take prismatic lens because it just um, ramps the spit and then fixes our mana. We need good fixing. And we do like ramping. Passing up on Rashad and Port. Yeah, I think I feel like this is fine. Whoa, memory jar. There is also a butcher. Butcher's really nice to sneak and show and tell. Memory jar gets us to our things. I think at this point I'd rather have memory jar on my deck. That's close, but yeah, I'll take it. If I could get one more Eldrazi, it'd be perfect. Tinker. I don't think I've got any Tinker targets on, luckily. No. Could I pick some up, though? I wonder. Well, like, is there anything I really want here? Not really. I'm not playing white. I guess I'll play a Tinker. Like, you never know. You can pick up stuff in the last few packs. I can say, like, Sundering Titan would be the best. That's the latest I've ever seen Tinker. Got a Prismatic Lens of Mox Ruby, not too much to play it with, but not nothing either. Look at this, not sure about this uh, Bolt at the moment. Oof. I kind of want to sweep her, if anything. Okay, so there's a Wasteland, but I'm taking the fetch here. Yeah, this is an easy fetch. Mm. I'll, pro I'll probably play the Bolt if there's nothing else going. Mind you, Memory Jar does kind of work with Shallow Grave in a strange way. Probably as nothing else does. Raging Ravine or Sulphur Falls. Raging Ravine is what I will take. Not really anything else here I want. Mold Drifter. Yeah. Take a Raging Ravine here. So there's a Dark Ritual, which is kind of off color. Uh, I'd rather take just another target for Natural Order. Feels pretty strong. I'm also just ramping us to Prime Evil Titan. Cool, cool, cool. Splashiok came all the way back. Well, I might take the Ashiok now, man. Um, Rakdos Returns, eh, in the sideboard, you never know. This is good for, I mean, there is a Archive, but I don't think I'm just playing any of my cards. I'd rather have the, when a red matchup, be a bit, be a bit better, and now I can take, oh wow, Kozlek came back. Kozlek, is Kozlek any good? Sneak him in, can show and tell him in. Oh, well, good man, I've already got my show and tell targets. No one really wants to play Skull Clamp. Okay, well, at the moment, Tooth and Nail is lethal, which is nice. I really do like Seeking Song. I guess I just, I've got a Mox, which sort of counts as the land, so seems fine to me. Uh, this is not a Fastborn deck. That did not end up working out. Uh, I could just play another land, try and hit my draws. Do I have any, um, yeah, I'll play another land here. Fast bond. I do have a demonic tutor and stuff, stuff I can play early as well. It's tough. I'm just gonna look at this gristle brand. Like, do I really need this many fatties? Like, maybe I don't need the gristle brand. So I've already got enough sneak targets. Gristle brand is such a good sneak target though. Does it go? And goes with shower attack. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. I do like Memory Jar. I like Natural Order. I like Splashy Oak. That's just fine. Oh, man, Fast Bond can be so good at times, so. like, oh, I'm, I'm just tossing up between this. Oh, 
I mean, that is 27, I guess. Like, I just kind of want to... Yeah, this will be fine. Yeah, this will be fine. Alright, now, land's getting a little bit weird. Because I sort of just want one blue. One black. Heaps of green. I've got one, two, three, four green sources of So I kind of want to go to five, at least. And this is eight, so then I can go... I need two more red. Okay. There is a chance I just want to go down to two red in total. I think that actually is correct, and add another green to make sure I hit my green first up. All right, well, this deck looks so fun. Lost the mirror to Tomok Ancestral Mana Drain. Yuck. <laughs> that is gross, man. Yeah. Was that, was that, was that for the trophy? Because I'm drafting Goofy, Splash New York, play um, Sneak Attack into Kiki Jiki's Ill Conscripts with Progenitus for Natural Water. It's the best deck I've ever drafted. All the combos. But was that for the trophy, man? <laughs> mono red. I, I actually um, drafted a big red deck the other day that went really well. I haven't had much success with mono red though. I seem to um, there seem to be just enough roadblocks for the control decks to give you misery. But um, this was probably going to be the worst fast bond. But yeah, you never know. Oh man, I know exactly. What, I had like the best hand the other day. I had the best fast bond hand. I had fast bond. With Ren and Six, a fetch land, and um, the other Oracle that lets you play lands at the top. And I got. What's that zero minus spell that um, counters target spell co that um, costs one for Phyrexian money? Like, they just blew me out before they'd even play a land. And they're like, without the um, fast spot, it totally messed me up. But yeah, spell pierce, those like one mana counter spells are nasty, man. Mental misstep, that's the one. Actually, the card I always forget is Natural Water. I always forget its name. I always know what the cards do. Oh, look at Natural Water right here. This is a turn 3 Progenitus. I feel like that's good enough. And this 2 for now is also lethal. Spell Piss is a lot better than it looks. Um... I'm really looking forward to getting a progenitus into play on turn three here. I'm hoping it's going to be good enough. Knowing me, though, I'll probably draw it and just have to settle for a primeval type. Swan song, man, I haven't done that in a while. The um, enchantment it goes with costs three red mana. Kind of hard to play. But uh, I wasn't around for the Swan Song era. I was at high school pretending I didn't play Magic. I was. I saw the deck list online though. Deck was good. All right, we get to go first as well. Oh man, if I can get this off, I'll be so mad if this uh, geography speaker gets done. Kind of makes my deck rubbish. I really want to draw a uh, Sylvan Carriage off the top here. Let's look up Stubborn Denial. I know the name and I know the card. I just can't put the card to the name. Sounds like a counter spell. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, man. I play, uh, I remember at the pre-release for Khans, I was playing this card and then Alpha striking my opponent. Mm-hmm. Is it only non-creature spells? Yeah, yeah. I also remember trying to play it on a creature and my opponent being like, actually, that's not how that works. 
Oh, dude, there's so many. Oh, actually, that's real good. I'm so happy I drew that. So it gives me a bit of insurance. I do have to draw another land now to go off with this, but um, very happy to draw an elves there. Oh, no. Not Iona. Chrissy Bang. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. How, what do I want to do here? Can he beat a Progenitus? Probably can. I probably actually want to get a Prime Evil Titan and just try and... Oh, that's tough. <laughs> that's true. Reanimator is big today. So what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking of actually grabbing Prime Evil Titan just because... Tooth and Nail and Twine is lethal because we have Kiki Jiki and Conscripts. And I just don't think we're going to beat a Grizzle Bay. I, I, I just don't think our Progenitus will be speedy enough. He's just gaining 7 every turn. So I think what I do is... Um, something like this. So yeah, we're, we're both doing broken stuff, but um, this is more broken. And we'll get a Prime Evil Titan. Right? Trust on no. Progenitus doesn't quite do it. Prime time gets us close to tooth and nail. Ah oh, man, this is weird. I actually don't want to get Shell Dock here. In case I get one of my guys stuck under it. And I don't have any blue. I could get Shell Dock and a blue. That doesn't help me. I'm, I'm on a plan here. I kind of want to get Misty. Maybe just a crag. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm one short of doing it next turn. I don't imagine this um, derogatory speaker is going to live. Mm-hmm, you do it. You do your thing. I can attack him down pretty well with um this um ran or, uh, ravine and a uh, Titan, but I assume we're gonna cop some removal here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One shot. Oh, I'm very happy he's tapping out for that. Really? Does he have Iona? I wapa. Have a good game, Smiley. Deal with it. Scouting in Tomb, so I'm not interested in reanimating anything else. Sphinx. We actually don't care about Sphinx, weirdly enough. Okay, so... Choices. Can we do everything? So if I play this, I can not activate Raging Ravine. Um, do I care about Raging Ravine? I don't have nine, so I can't even sneak attack. I can show and tell. Thing is, he's probably packing some serious muscle as well, so. Just gets through for 10. Brings him down to 10. I'm gonna draw. Ooh, okay. Diabol Tudor. Hey, level him up one, why not? And I'm just gonna attack again.
Dragon Skull and this. So I, I hope he just spends a turn reanimating and I can just win with Kiki Jiki. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So even if he kills my um, creatures here, I can still play Tooth and Nail. He's got a handful of gas, so he just needs to keep um, some re uh, removal open. Turn to a Gristle Brand against turn three Primeval Titan. Get in there, man. Come on back. Don't be holding back on me. Now just tap out for this Sphinx. Bring it back, man. You know it. Into the tank. One thing I could also do is demonic tutor for Zillus conscripts. That would also be like a win. Okay, yes, do that, do that, do that. So I guess he's got one thing. Okay, he's doing that as well. Yeah, okay, this is perfect. So I read fewer, I can't attack into, I can't get those conscripts anymore, so I'm just going to win with um, Tooth and Nail. And again, like, you can't have, um, it's got to be, kind of days, it's got to be Pact of Negation or Force of Will. And we'll respect that if he's got it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. We want this guy and this guy. And we want to put in the play this guy and this guy. Okay. That was enough for it. <laughs> wow, we got there. Bring the turn to a gristle brand. <laughs> Woo! Feels good, man. It feels real good. So we've got to look at a few things here. We've got to consider Duplicant. Duplicant um, can beat Iona, can beat Sphinx, comes in as a big guy. Makes Crystal Brand hard. Yeah, that's probably good enough. What do we cut for it, though? Ashiok can be tremendously annoying as well. Maybe Prismatic Lens. Okay, I'm bringing a duplicate. That seems real good. Okay, well, this is a turn for... I can play Sneak Attack on... Turn two, and then turn three, we can have Crystal Brand in play, so we're keeping this. You know, the other one is doing Crystal Brand stuff. Turn one, Sylvan Carriage, here we go. Could I just draw Kiki and Conscripts? That'd be pretty sick. Oh. Man, I've got a cube rotting in my 
Well, it was in my shed. It's in a box now. But, um... Yeah, man. Being on the Mechron Cube was one of the funnest things I ever did. It's a bit outdated. It's a bit underpowered, but... Yeah, like... Yeah, I know, right? Like, I feel like drafting in a pod is how cubes are meant to be done for me. So much fun. All right, we just got to play into the uh, mana drain here. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Nothing so... I actually think we don't here because we can just play Drug Tree Speaker. And that will mean we just play, get to play Sneak Attack next turn anyway. So we're going to do it like this. <laughs> Chinese proxies. <laughs> ah. Yeah, what I, I never got around to actually just printing off the cards I need and like making. Are you tapping out? Oh, he's tapped out. He's tapped out. He's in trouble now. I guess he could play a Mox Sapphire. Minor Crypt. Oh, you're welcome to play Minor Crypt, man. That is your business. Question is, can we win on this turn? Green. Oh, I don't want to use up my red mana. I'm going to have to. Hmm. Can untap my shield up with Vigilus Conscripts? See what else we can draw off the top here. I guess I want to draw a red land. We did that cube. We did that for a cube cabin weekend. That sounds sick. Ah, oh, we've just got it here. We just drew it. Ah, oh, this is great. Here's Mister Kiki Jiki. Boom. That was a turn three win. Oh, I'll turn forward. We did that for a cube cabin weekend where we did rotisserie pro drafts. That sounds awesome, dude. For a problem is my mates are like, they, they can play magic. And they're not bad, but like, um, they're not cube players. They're more like, hey, let's go to the pre-release kind of players. And it is something I find I have to sort of like, they're keen for it once they're there. But, um, it's like, uh, you know, I have to talk them into it. And if Cube's going to happen, I'm the one who has to organize and get everything together. So that means I've got to organize food. I've got to put up the table, the Swiss. Oh man, I'm, I'm trying to slowly convert everyone I know, man. It's, um, like I'm a primary teacher. I find primary school is just like a, <laughs> a way to sneak Magic the Gathering into children's lives. <laughs> yes, mathematics is important, but have you heard of this name called game called Magic the Gathering? It's got mathematics in it. It's the perfect way to learn. <laughs> yeah. I don't do that at school. No free beer at school. Uh, mini keg. Seems like a good op. Should I have been kept this hand? I kept this hand because I saw a seeding song in Kiki Jiki, and that seems fun. Boo! And the is pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I'm always offering free beers to people who show up to draft. I thought, actually, um, it was kind of embarrassing because uh, when I got married for my Bucks party, um, I was like, guys, we're getting together, we're having a cube draft. That was my Bucks party. And because a lot of my friends, like, I have a lot of other friends who aren't nerds, and I didn't actually invite them to my Bucks because I didn't want them to have to deal with, like, a magic tournament. So, like, they were like, dude, why didn't you invite me to your buddy Bucks party? I'm like, it wasn't really a Bucks party. It was, I was just saying that so we could play some magic cards. It was just a cover. My opponent's kind of going off here. It's a bit scary. Silver as well. Okay, okay. Jeez. Jeez, what was that? What you, oh, he's just upping the sky until he's massive and says, Wow, okay. Could I just throw a sneak attack? That's not a sneak attack. 
So, I think I'm going to Kiki Jiki here. Yeah. I can double my plant. We might get in for some damage, why not? <laughs> On a Winnie the Pooh TV show? We did that for my boys, except with Super Smash Millie. <laughs> wow, man. Millie, uh, Millie was probably the one I played the most. I played a bit of the first match, but when it came to Millie, me and Luigi, we got to work, dude. I never got into um the Wii ones. After Smash Millie, I phased out. I can't, can't, I, I, he can probably draw, look at the top three cards, he can probably draw the thing he needs, right? That's fine, got no problem with that. Are you okay with me? <laughs> 64. 64 goes, well I guess. Four cubed is 64, right? Ooh. So, options. I could get Progenitus. Or I could get Prime Time and double it and just have all the lands in my deck. Or I could get Terastodon and completely mess him up. Copy the Terastodon. Mess him up more. Take him off all his mana. Oh, this is tough. I think I should actually trust it on here. No, I've got a prime move. I'm gonna prime time. Prime time sounds fun. I can get three triggers off it. It's got to be good, right? And it puts his health down as well. Like, we are kind of close to get some winning with Progenitus here, but, um... One slight problem is I actually don't think we've got enough black mana to play the Scripture Brand as is. Do we have two more black sources in our deck? I don't think we do. Lanawal Waste. Yeah, we've only got three black sources. Christ. Oh, man. Um, in that case, I'm going to get a Shelled Off Dial Island and Misty, I think. I might do that with my last one to increase the chances of hitting something sweet. So, I'll get the Raging Ravine and the Misty. Put in another dude. Yep, use Primary of Titan, yes. And get the Lana Waste and maybe another Forest. Move to Attacks. And then we get our Shell Dog Um, and maybe a Red. Radio. Yeah, shut up should be fine. I've got the, um... Now, can I play the... Oh, no, I just want Zillus Conscripts, right? That's lethal. This is interesting, because Sneak Attack allows me to do a bunch of stuff. That's fun. Zillus Conscripts wins me the game, assuming. But my Jimoto Green doesn't have that many ways to kill Kiki. Like, what I'm really scared of, scared of here is him drawing, um, his Crater Hoof. I don't know what else does it here. Okay, I'll get Zillus Conscripts.
So he gets a massive look here. Three cards. Does he have the crater hoof? That's what we want to know. Oh, he's going to play the big dragon. I didn't see the red coming. Fair enough. Well, that's a good thing to do as conscripts. So, yeah, we still got to win here. Like, that is A-OK. -okay. Eight damage, he's on eight. Fine with me, man. Fine with me. All right, let's shuffle my library because all that stuff I want is on the bottom. Have a draw. Mox, huh? <laughs> oh no! I didn't get I thought I was going to get it with the Misty. Oh, brutal. <laughs> oh, rough. Rough. Oh, man. So, I think... What am I on? 16. I think it actually might be worth attacking with the Prime Time and the Raging Ravine. I'll allow your message. Bad <laughs> Oh, we had it. We threw it away. Um, weirdly enough, like, he's going to take us for... I think we actually do attack with um, our Raging Ravine and our... Um, I'm evil Titan here. We don't mind losing stuff. Oh dear. Come on, man. Come on. Woo! Yeah, I don't care. Let's get in here. Like, I just don't want him um, drawing too heavily off the... Uh, Well, there's all my all my lands, huh? And if I get in one damage here, this crystal brand is also lethal if I draw a sneak attack or something. In case I'm stupid enough that I forget to uh Let's go block. Oh, does this trample? It doesn't trample? Ah, it doesn't trample. Okay. Alright, crystal brand is not lethal. Alright. Oh, that sucks! I'm going to get punished. No way I'm going to win this game. I'm going to get punished for it. I don't deserve to win this game. Absolutely not. Take 10. Memory jar. Not right now, man. We've got other plans. I want the big dragon one. <laughs> I don't know what that even... <laughs> Bogans are delightful. I mean, like, so... Derelict, we shortened to Dero in Australia. So I'd say there are a bunch of Deros down at the... Um, you call it a housing project. I guess we call it a commune or something like this. On my way to work, all the Jarrows, like, they lit up the window. They know me now. They're like, hey, mate, there's a guy I always see. He goes, ah, number day in paradise, eh, brother? Number day in paradise. I love him, man. Bogans are great. He's just sitting on the door, giving me encouragement. He keeps telling me what he said to me the other day. He goes, um, yeah, mate, you go to work, so I don't have to. I'm like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Bogans are all right. I'll take no offense. Hillbilly, Ragnar, yeah, a bit like that. It's basically, um, so you might not be able to tell, but my accent is actually quite posh comparatively to the rest of Australia. Um, and I guess, um, the more country you go, you get a bit more nasally, you get a bit more, hey, yeah, mate, you all right? And that would be considered a bit bogan. And then start like, um, they start using all the slang that you might hear, like, oh, fair dinkum, mate. Strength. Things that, like, 
Australians wouldn't usually say like all the um I actually heard a guy say Sheila once without any irony like it, most Australians don't use that word but I heard it once from a bogan at a train station I was like wow I, I saw a real Australian in the wild it was unreal oh I really want to get a blue hey I've got a blue oh yeah man it was kind of nice But um, people sometimes think I'm like English or something. And I know like I sound really Australian to you probably, but in my country, you can go even further. There's another level of Aussie. Oh, wow, this is everything. This is just everything. I don't think I'm scared, too scared of the 8-8, am I? Hmm. I enjoy a southern accent. I'm not going to try one. I've tried. It's horrible. <laughs> Can't pull it off. But um, I enjoy a southern accent. I like uh, Reginald D. Hunter from Georgia, isn't he? Guy's got a great accent. So oh, apparently it's going off a little bit. So do I risk the show and tell? I think I do. How can I not? <laughs> yeah, we call it, we, oh, what do we call it? I mean, they call it, um, Uncle Tomming, when you go, like, overly English in England. I'm not sure what the Australian equivalent is. <laughs> Draw some dim. <laughs> uh, I'm going to drop a gristle brand here, and I hope he doesn't have a massive fire five. I think that's the plan. This never goes well, but we'll try it. I've never really played this card before. He's got to have it. Ah, oh, okay. That's all right. What's he killing? That sauce? That's okay. I'm going to add some mana to my mana pool. Um, I kind of want to use this once, actually, just to see what's on top. So I've got a fast spawn in play? Oh. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Can I, I haven't activated this yet, I'm going to. Oh, can I play... Hmm, I could almost play a natural order. I could pay two more life just to play a visionary. I could play another seven and then three life, which would be ten going out of two to get progenitors in play for sure. Um, I think I'd rather be a bit safer than that. All right, we're just going to play out of visionary here. <laughs> it's a progenitus. <laughs> Let's do a tooth and nail it here. Um, I like the seven life I'm about to gain. I guess he, if he plays a massive dragon, I still get to draw all the cards off it, so I think that's okay. He gets it back. Probably kills my fast font. He knows what's good for him. Not my mountain. Yeah, smart move. Then he drops a dragon, and I get to draw another seven cards. What is it? Oh, it's going to search it with, um... Oh, no, it's playing it. Okay. So a few things are going to cop it here. Most likely my derogatory speaker. These three, I think, are all dead. Drawing all the cards. Okay. 
Oh, do I have, do I have enough red is a question. I think I do to just win it here. I guess the lightning bolt stops me. So I want to go like this. Play this. Play this guy. That's it. Whoa, we just went four games in a row. This deck's insane. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. I think we kind of got there with this one. This Ash York looks kind of random, but it's fine. All right, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it, mate. Yeah, draw another seven cards. Ah, uh, didn't want to get too greedy. I like we already had the win. Seething Song would have been pretty sick just to... Because I guess I could Seething Song and then just drop every, like, massive guy in my deck, eh? Hey? But, um, yeah, Show and Tell actually worked there. Actually paid off. I've never had that before. Whew. I'm sure I've been drawing well, but... This could be the trophy we've been waiting for. I do put all my trophies up on a YouTube channel no one watches, Ostentatious. So if you want to check out some random trophies or with really poor quality video, check out the YouTube channel attached to this Switch. Rakdos, could see Rakdos returns in the deck. That is true. We do have a fair bit of ramp, don't we? And pretty good mana. There is a chance I don't want Terastid on. It's just nice having a third target for natural water. Like, I, actually, you're right. It's like, is that this? Is this just. Rakdos Returns is just better than Ashiel? Is that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. 100%. Ashiok just seems a bit out of place. I'm actually kind of down on Ashiok. Like, I. I know it's a good card. I've got I've got that physical copy of it in my cube, but it doesn't affect the board straight away. That's kind of your worry. It does run away with the game if not dealt with, but if they just respond with a removal spell. Mm-hmm. Pretty lucky to pick up an on car mox. Mega Cube do play all the all these Moxen. I actually got a drafted deck the other day with um I drafted three on color Moxen. I was in Grixis and every pack I just opened. Oh, there's the Jet, there's a Ruby, there's a Sapphire. So they're all in here. Oh, there is a chance I haven't seen the green one actually. Maybe the green one isn't. I know the white one is. Yeah, Puzzle Man 77. Hi, uh, Puzzle Man. Good luck. The finals, here we are. And we've got the hand. Got it all. We're going first. Oh, we are going first. I like that. So, this is a turn for Grizzle Brand attacking. Oh, all right, all right, all right. What do you get for me? What is he going to give me? I like the idea that I'm playing against a green deck. It seems pretty good against green. Four deals, huh? Okay. Oh, okay. We might not have this game. Like, next turn, he's got a fetch in his hand as well. Next turn, things that are bad could happen. So I kind of want blue here, weirdly enough. You never know. Could I draw my first bond? 
Uh, well, I mean, that is pretty good with sneak attack, I guess. That's fine. It's okay, it's okay. So these next two turns, we've got we've also got to survive for two turns without um getting like strip mined, wastelanded, Rashad imported. Corsa? Ooh, okay. Oh, dude, you gotta go. This is starting enchantments. Target artifact or creature. And you gotta go for me there, dude. Oh, if I draw, if this survives and I draw a red source, this game's getting out of hand. I feel like he has to hit the prismatic lens there. Like, the weird thing about Oko is, like, you just don't mind making their um, artifact ramp kind of a 3 3. I don't know, maybe he's got something brewing. But I feel like if I draw a red and he doesn't interact with me, I've got lethal. Can you just not kill my sneak attack? But then I'm going to draw into red with Bristlebrand anyway, so... I can sneak all these guys into play. Alright, so it makes a guy. Is he going to, um... Mutate? Oh, he's still... Oh, I think he might be a bit slow. I don't think he's going to have it. I think my sneak attack might, sneak attack might just be a bit quicker here. Alright, so what do we do? We're going to... Add red with this. Play sneak attack. Play a good Bristol Grand. We just need to hit a red. And then we can attack for lethal. Oh, we missed! We missed! No! <laughs> we missed a red! That's unreal! Whoa! Okay. What do we do now? <laughs> I can't believe that! 14 cards, we couldn't hit one of our mountains. Hold on. We have a fast bond. But we don't have enough mana. Even if we like, because we did, we need one more. We need one more mana. No, the fast one doesn't help. Oh no, we've got zealous conscripts. <laughs> we can zealous conscripts their tiger, untap it. <laughs> oh yes, that's unreal. It's permanent, right? Wasn't on land. Target permanent. We've got exact. Oh no, but. Oh, he's on 16 anyway. I'm going to do it because I found the line, but... Yeah, we, okay, we, we had it anyway. I was freaking out there. I thought I thought I missed on mountains. I didn't realize it was on 16 because of this fast bond. We'll take that. Thank you very much. And where's my progenitus? No, we're not. cancel, cancel. Play that, or we'll play a progenitus. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't need to find the sick play there, but I think I found it. <laughs> it's a sneak off. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Oh, that was fun. That was so much fun. I think I'm just gonna ignore this Oko and play my game. I mean, if he makes a 3 3 out of my guy there, I think he wins. Oh, for the trophy. Might have found it off post combat draw and fast one into red. Yeah, 2 2. I think this hand's just keepable. I love having seeding something into Kiki. Seems real strong. My heart's, my heart's actually beating after that. I, thought, I couldn't believe I missed on the mountain. Okay, you're searching, I'm searching. Everyone's having fun. Very colourful for my opponent. 
I suppose we are too. Ooh, I can drop a Kiki now. Hmm. Is Kiki Jiki good now? I think I'd rather, because it, mm, I think I'd rather just play Harmonize and have Seeding Song as a sort of a surprise win. 10, 10? <sighs> turn 2 Kiki sounds fun, but I think that's all it is. I think I'd rather hold on to the mana um, and just have a big sort of turn where I unleash my power. Next turn we get to play a Harmonize. That should be very powerful. Oh, dude. That last game was real fun. Turn for a win. Sounds powerful. Oh, I don't like all the um, mana that's being held up here. Kind of makes me a bit nervous. We're going to go for it, but... Okay. Got five anyway. Didn't actually have to play that, did I? So I should have played the Shell Dock, maybe? I mean, hmm. I probably could have done that a bit smoother. Seems like a fact or fiction, perhaps? Did kind of miss there a little bit. I was hoping to hit some kind of action. I kind of don't want my uh, tutor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can play Terrastas on next turn. Oh, not anymore. Okay, that's okay, though. That's okay. I wonder what Zillow's conscripts. Hmm. So, not this turn, but next turn I can drop a Terrastodon. I kind of just want to use Sheldog. How close are we? I'm not even that close. I should play a ravine just in case I want to drop a Kiki. Yeah. Play around for spike. Probably worth it. Probably worth it. We did in the end, didn't we? Okay, so he's searching for his combos. Ooze. Okay, I don't mind ooze. Ooze sounds kind of slow here. Yeah, I don't really know what ooze does. Like, we're not doing shallow grave things. Our plan is to just get rid of all his lands on the next turn. Leave him with um, probably just a forest and a mountain. Not sure if that changes things. Okay, you can play that. It's fine. All right, so this is a big test to see whether he does have um, the force spike, but that'll be good to know about anyway. We're going to go for it here. Add five. Okay, so I want to take away his mana. Um, I could take away his red or his blue. Looking at his deck, and seeing as he's playing Sneak Attack, I feel like his red is kind of more dangerous. I'm not sure what his blue's there for, but, um, I kind of want to just get rid of all his red mana. There is a chance I should have hit the blue just because, uh, whoa. Oh, okay, yeah, he's doing the thing. Yes, please. So we'll see if he's got the removal. Brazen Borrower? I oh, know, just gonna continue getting rid of all my stuff. That's okay, man. That's all right. Next turn I can Kiki to potentially really take out all of his, all of his mana, but that gives him a lot of guys to work with, dude. Could also do it at the end of turn. Hmm. 
Oh yeah. Right on, man. I want to play Sheldock here because I'm really going to start chatting through my library pretty quick. So let's play Prime Time. We are sort of open to a counter here, but you didn't have it before. Always yield. Um, we want access to black and to red. Got all the green we need. And then we can drop a shell dock. So that'll be active next turn. What are we getting from our shell dock? <laughs> Zero's conscript sounds fine to me. So we've got the win next turn. Uh, we just don't want him to interact. So if he taps out for something, fantastic. He's just going to continue eating all stuff. I can have six here. I can taste it, man. I can taste it. What could go wrong? No sneak attack. Um, counter spells on. You can counter. We'd have to respect that. Gristle Brand. Ah, uh, yeah, he conceded before we even got to show him it. Wow, well, that's the trophy, man. Are we up there at the moment? We're, um, oh, there we are, yeah, sure. On six. Woo! Still a bit of climbing to do before we get right up there with the big boy.